who want to have me what is possibly the first wallet case available for the Samsung Galaxy S6, it's the all the multifunctional wallet. Now in this video, what I'll do is give you a quick overview of this case, but before I do that, I'll give you a quick comparison difference between the Samsung Galaxy S6 case that I have here, and also the Samsung Galaxy S5, so we can get an idea of the differences that we're going to have or see in the size, and also the placement of any buttons or speakers or cameras on the upcoming flagship phone from Samsung. One of the most noticeable differences between the S6 and the S5 is the overall dimensions of both handsets. Now on screen I've got a picture showing the dimensions of the S5 and also dimensions around the Samsung Galaxy S6 case which I've got here. Marginal differences between the two handsets but more noticeably the width of the Samsung Galaxy S6 is around 2mm smaller than the Galaxy S5. It's also slightly slimmer as well so this Samsung Galaxy S6 is rumoured to be a lot more slimmer and a lot more sleeker than its predecessor, the Samsung Galaxy S5. Moving on to the back, and it looks like Samsung have made a few more changes to the design of the S6 compared to the S5. More noticeably, they've removed the external speaker, which is on the bottom left, most likely to make way for it to be at the bottom of the device. A very small difference to the camera position and the flash position on the S6 compared to the S5, it looks like the fingerprint and the heart rate sensor has now moved to the right hand side of the speed of the camera compared to it being at the bottom on the S5. So very small differences that Samsung have made to the S6 compared to the S5. So that's a quick comparison between the S6 and the S5. Of course don't forget to subscribe to the channel where we'll be doing a lot more coverage of this handset when we do get our hands on it. Now moving on to the case. Those of you who may be familiar with the Aussie multifunctional wallet will know just what you can expect. But for those who don't, here's a quick overview of the wallet case from Aussie for the Samsung Galaxy S6. The first feature of this case I'm going to show you is perfect for those who love to watch videos or type or play games on their mobile device. Now the multifunctional wallet has an integrated stance. So what that means is you can simply fold it onto itself like so to fold a convenient horizontal position to watch movies, videos, games and also type on the on-screen keyboard. So it's a very nice viewing angle, it's multi-positional as well, so you can adjust it to your desired viewing angle. The inside of the case features card slots for debit or credit or ID cards, and also a slot for a bank note as well. So this means you don't have to carry your wallet around as you can carry your phone and your wallet inside of this case. As all of the Aussie cases do, there's access to all the ports, the buttons and the features, so you're going to be able to make full use of your device without having to remove it from the case. You can still take pictures with the clear cut out on the back, still access the standby button and the bottom is completely unrestricted so you're going to be able to charge your device when it is in the case and also listen to music as well. So that's a quick comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S6 and the S5 and a quick overview of the Aussie multifunctional wallet for the S6. Be sure to subscribe and like our Facebook as well where we'll be doing a lot more videos and coverage of the upcoming flagship phone from Samsung so be sure to check that out. Of course, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching.